Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exploring a brand new feature in Open Web UI that's going to revolutionize your local LLM interactions. Open Web UI is a powerhouse platform packed with features, enabling you to run large language models locally with incredible flexibility. We're talking seamless integration with both OLAMA and OpenAI compatible APIs, connecting to services like LM Studio, Grok Cloud, and more. A built in model builder for crafting custom characters and agents, and robust RAG support for incorporating documents and web searches directly into your conversations. You can even enhance your chat experience with image generation using tools like Automatic 11 or Comfy UI, allowing you to generate high quality images right in the chat with the help of large language models. But the star of the show today is the new Artifacts feature. Inspired by Anthropics Claude, this feature will allow you to render web content and SVGs directly within the open web UI interface. Think of it as having a mini web browser right inside your chat, allowing you to see visual outputs and make live changes to your code. This is perfect for tasks where you need to quickly iterate on designs, visualize data, or see the results of your code in real time. Imagine you're building a website with an LLM. You can now see the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript render live as you make changes, drastically speeding up your workflow. Or perhaps you're generating SVG graphics. The Artifacts window allows you to preview and refine them instantly. It's like having a live playground for your LLM-generated content, opening up a world of possibilities for interactive and dynamic applications. For those who followed the channel, you might remember my previous videos on Open Web UI where we explored web search integration and custom image generation workflows. This artifacts feature builds upon that foundation, bringing us closer to the functionality of advanced AI platforms, all within the comfort of our local machines. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating a complete setup of Open Web UI, showing you how to connect anthropic cloud models and diving deep into the practical applications of this incredible artifacts feature. If you haven't already, Smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, consider subbing to my Patreon. There you'll find exclusive custom workflows, easy to use comfy UI one-click installers, and most notably, access to my newly created custom Flux Loris Discord bot. Simply provide your prompt, select the Loris you want to apply, use an enhanced prompt from our LLM prompt enhancer, and let it generate. We'll be adding more bots and Loris in the near future, so stay tuned. You can also join my YouTube members community to enjoy the same benefits. Now let's walk through setting up Open Web UI. First, install Miniconda if you haven't already. A quick Google search will lead you to the Anaconda documentation for downloading and installing the correct version for your operating system. Once installed, search for Anaconda prompt in the Windows search bar and open the Miniconda PowerShell. We'll create a dedicated environment for Open Web UI with the command conda create n open web UI Python equals 3.11 y. Activate it using conda activate open web UI. You'll notice your command prompt might change slightly, with the name of the environment now showing to the left of the directory path, indicating you're in the right environment. Now, install Open Web UI with pip install Open Web UI. This will install all the dependencies needed to get Open Web UI up and running. To start the server, type Open Web UI Serve. This will download any necessary models and launch the server. Copy the localhost URL displayed in your terminal and paste it into your browser. If you encounter a connection error, Modify the URL by replacing HTTPS with HTTP and using 127.0.0.1 as the IP address. Create a local account and sign in. Now, let's connect the Claude Sonnet 3.5 model, a powerhouse for coding tasks, using Pipelines, a plugin framework for Open Web UI. Pipelines acts as a bridge to various AI models including Claude that will enable us to connect our Anthropic API to the Open Web UI interface. Create a new environment. Conda create dash n pipelines python equals 3.11 y and 
Activate the pipelines environment with Conda Activate Pipelines. Make sure you have Git installed on your system which will be needed in order to clone the pipelines repository. In your terminal, navigate to your desired project directory and clone the pipelines repository. Git clone and paste the pipelines repo link. Then, cd into the directory and install the dependencies. pip install our requirements.txt. Let the pipelines dependencies install on your device. Once that's complete, start the pipeline server using dot forward slash start dot bat on Windows or dot forward slash start dot sh on Linux. Keep this terminal open. Back in open web UI, click your profile icon, then admin panel, followed by the settings icon. Under connections, in the OpenAI API section, add a new entry. Head over to the pipelines repo and copy the localhost API base URL in the Docker instruction section and paste the pipelines URL into the API base URL field. Also paste the API key in the API key field. Test the connection and save. Scroll down to pipeline settings. The pipelines URL should auto-populate with the pipelines URL showing in the manage pipelines field. Now, we will install the Anthropic Manifold script. I provided a link to the file down in the description, but you can also find it in the examples folders inside the pipelines repository. Download the file to your device and upload it in the Upload Pipeline section in the settings. This will install the Anthropic Python Manicode script that will make it possible for us to communicate with the Claude API server. Once the Manifold has installed, you will see a new field show up that will ask for your Anthropic API key. Head over to the Anthropic API website, create a new API key for the project then copy and paste the key in the API key field in the settings. Finally save the settings. With everything set up, let's head back to the Open Web UI main interface. Create a new chat session and select the Claude Sonnet 3.5 model from the drop-down menu. Send a test message to ensure everything is working correctly. Now, for the exciting part, using the artifacts feature. Locate the three dots in the top right corner of the interface and click on them. In the drop-down menu, select Artifacts to open the Artifacts tab. This is where the magic happens. Now you can interact with Claude and instruct it to generate code for any web application you have in mind, using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. As Claude generates the code, it will be displayed in the main chat window. Simultaneously, the Artifacts canvas, located within the Artifacts tab, will render the code's output in real time. This allows you to visualize the application taking shape as the code is being written, providing instant feedback on the generated code. Even while the model is still generating code, you'll see the application evolving in the Artifacts canvas, allowing you to observe the effects of the code as it's being written. Open Web UI provides interactive editing capabilities within the main chat window itself. To make changes to the code, simply click within the code text box in the chat, make your desired adjustments, and then click the Save button. These changes will be immediately reflected in the Artifacts canvas, providing a live, interactive coding experience. To gain further insights or clarification, you can highlight any part of the code or chat messages. Two options will appear, Ask and Explain. Clicking Ask will allow you to pose specific questions to the model about the highlighted section, while Explain prompts the model to provide a more detailed explanation of the highlighted portion. Finally, Open Web UI offers a convenient way to review your entire chat history. If you need to refer back to a previous part of the conversation, click the three dots in the top right corner again and select Overview. This will open a new view displaying your chat messages in a zoomable mesh grid, making it easy to navigate and locate specific points within the conversation. With these powerful features, you're equipped to elevate your coding projects, making the most out of your interactions with the Claude model and taking your coding journey to the next level. From here, you can truly unlock the potential of your coding journey and maximize your interactions with the model. So there you have it, a comprehensive look at integrating the Claude Sonnet 3.5 model with Open Web UI and leveraging the amazing artifacts feature. I hope this tutorial has empowered you to explore new creative avenues and streamline your coding workflow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest AI tools and techniques. And if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, happy coding!